<laughs> you guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going over Makita. A lot of you guys out there like Makita. They have one of the biggest 18 volt lineups around. We got two of the reciprocating saws here today and we have the 36 volt, which a lot of people like because you can use the existing 18 volt battery packs, double them up and you got 36 volts. Math. Yes. That's where it's at, Eric. That's good. I'm still trying to figure that out in my head, so that's good. Okay. You're quick with that. Yeah. What I do like we got? It. Reciprocating saws. These are the new uh, reciprocating saws out, and I believe what we saw them at World of Concrete, you're saying? I think I saw this one at World of Concrete. Yeah. Guys, these things are nice, man. Um, you give, I don't know. I like the way they feel. I think they're good. You got an adjustable shoe. I love how just to take the blade, just put the blade in there, locks it into place right away, um, eject them out. They're nice saws. Two speeds. And then in the middle, you can lock it. So at one speed, I believe it's zero to, what is it, 2300, and then zero to 3000. So like Dan was saying, 36 volt. These are six oh, amp hour yeah. batteries we have on there. But I love the whole idea of getting more power, but you're not investing in a whole new battery technology, battery line. You can just stick with your one line that you have, and then you can expand. If you need more power, a bigger tool, you can go with that one. If you're saying, hey, that's too much for me, I don't need all that power, you just go with this one. I so. do like the grips up here. I love how thin it is right there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but that is really thin. For They're my hands, that yeah. is like perfect feel right there. Yeah. That one's really that thin too. Yeah. I mean, they're nice. Yeah, I like the same grip. Very nice. Yeah, suicide so. hook, you guys, you can hang it, great feature. Um, you know, I can't complain. I think these things are pretty good. Obviously, Makita has been around for a long, long time, you guys. I always tell you the story of how, when we worked at MotorWorks, remember? Oh, yeah, I remember, what, those 10 8s or something? Yeah, or what, like, were they? no, I don't even know, 9, I don't even know, I can't volt? remember, 9 8s, 10 8s, you might be yeah. right. No, because if they had 10 8s, they would be 12. I think they were Yes, nine, you're right, you're right. They were 9 something, but they were NICAD, the big long ones. Yeah. And uh, you remember, like, the stick packs would always, like, get broken, and it would just be, uh, like, what enough cardboard packs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. we used to use them to remove license plates from cars. I remember, dude, it was just like full speed or no speed, mm -hmm. and then you let off and it would still take a while to spin yeah. down. I mean, that was but like... But they lasted. 80s, 90s. Late yeah, 80s, late 80s, 90s. early 90s. And that was crazy technology back then we were blown away by. Yeah. I mean, look at it now. Yeah, what a difference from battery technology from back then to now. I know. It's... Yeah, it's huge. It's crazy, you know? It's huge. It's good stuff. But you know what hasn't changed, really? In battery technology, car batteries. Since the 80s, 70s, car battery technology has not really changed. Didn't you used really to have changed. to fill up car batteries and now you don't? Well, maintenance free. I don't know. Maybe I'm just making stuff up. Yeah. I don't know, you guys. I was making the show a little more interesting. Sorry, Eric I had to called ruin me it. out. Eric Sorry. called me out and ruined my day on it. But so. I think you're right. No, you're actually right. Nothing has changed on it. The, so the, there we go. I'm, hey, I'm they're the same like. size. <laughs> <laughs> right? right? Seriously, why can't they make car batteries smaller? I don't know. I mean, why can't they make cars with little lithium batteries? I, I mean, how many of these battery packs would it take to start a car? I don't know. You're asking great questions that I just can't answer. I know. I thought you were the battery guy. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm sorry. All right, you guys. Obviously, Eric knows nothing. But yep. anyways, back to the saws. Good stuff. LED light on the front of this one. Does that one have an LED light? No, yes, the battery. It, does. it does. It does. But guys, these are a heck of a saw. These are both brushless motors. Um, I don't know. I don't really know what to... I don't know. I just I love them. They're nice. I love the comfort of them. Watch your fingers in there, man. No, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah you always want to take the battery out or lock it when you change blades, you yeah. guys. Definitely so. uh, do not want to catch your fingers in there. Well, a no. little bit of seriousness there. Yeah, and again, guys, we're not getting all the stats. You want to see all the stats, you can go to the Makita website. You can go to Tools and Action. We're going to have a write-up on it. We'll have all the stats on there. We're just here really more to show these off to you, show you what cool, you know, new tools are out on the market, and these are something we came across that we wanted to show them to you. Because these are, I don't know, I think these are one of the top ones on the market in terms of reciprocating saws. Really? Yeah, they, do. they are nice. I love them. XRJ05Z and XRJ06Z, you guys. That's the model numbers on these. Check it out. Makita.com, cool place, makitatools.com. Yeah. So you can go check out all this good stuff. Wow, I didn't know they had a wearable vacuum. They got a ton of stuff. Wow. I think they even got like a vacuum for their 12 volt line. What? Like a stick vac. A co was that a coffee maker? Go down. Yeah, that was like a coffee maker. maker. That's awesome. What? Even their outdoor OPE stuff I've been using. I've got their. Why well, uh, they even have a vac vacuum? That's what I mean. Yeah, the stick vac. Wow. That's awesome. 
Crazy stuff, you guys. Hashtag TIA crew. TIA gear.com is where you get the cool TIA uh, shirt that we're not obviously wearing today. But, you know, give us a break. And guys, don't forget, go to the Power Tool Forum. Actually, we're going to be giving away tools all year, round, all year uh, long. Um, some of them will be Makita tools that we'll be giving away, too. So all you got to do is be part of the member. Be a part. I mean, I can't even talk today. I know. Be but a member of the forum, and you got a chance to win. Do you think it has anything to do with that car that's been running in here for 20 minutes? <laughs> 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 Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.